Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, we had just grabbed some C4. Now, it's time to get out of here, make our grand escape. However, we have unfortunately set off the alarm system, which is probably going to buy us in the ass. And I've come down with a serious cough as well. I don't know why. Hopefully it passes in a second. It's one of those coughs that's just come out of nowhere and been bugging me for the last 10 minutes. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Yeah, that really hurts. Uh, we're in an unfortunate situation with our med kits as well. Uh, in the fact that, well, we don't really have many. And that's going to be a bit of a problem going forwards. But, you know, it's fine. Brute force and ignorance should just about get us through this bit. All we have to do now is escape. We're going to be leaning on our friend here as much as possible. All right, we are tearing through these uh, shotgun shells. Now, the unfortunate part of this um, next few stages is the game really doesn't like giving us health kits. Uh, that is going to become quite the problem. And it looks like our friend here is starting to run out of ammo as well. All right. So what do you need? Okay. No, I want you to follow me. But uh, what do you need? You need bullets. Oof. I tell you what, I'm going to take that shotgun off you. Right. And I'm going to give you the handgun. Just because... You can have a full 10 magazines there. Um, and I like the way he just literally drops the shotgun. Just chucks it on the floor. And it doesn't appear that we can actually pick it up again either, which... Okay, sure, I guess. Right. Now, let's be careful. Stay frosty. Um, what do you... Oi! Doofus! Pow! Okay. Follow me. Okay, that's literally all you have to do. Follow me. Yeah, probably. But we'd definitely be dying a lot slower. Okay, if you would actually listen to me and follow my orders. You see? Now, what will happen through that door will happen. Hopefully, he's going to kill the trooper. Which means we're going to need our flamethrower. Yep. Nope. Okay. Yeah, the AI is very questionable. It's questionable fighting us. And it's questionable at fighting each other as well. Okay. He's going to shut the door. All right. Come on. Let's be having you. There we go. Liberal use of fire for everybody. You hanging in there, pal. Because, oof, I kind of need you to hang in there as much as humanly possible anyway. Well, I suppose. We got some shotgun shells out of it. So we'll take them. All right, let's keep going. I can hear more gribblies. And of course... It's going to be another one of these weird bulldog things. Hopefully, we can roast it just enough. Come on. Come on, you big fat testicle. This way. Don't be scared. You know, I always thought that the thing creatures would be a little bit more aggressive than they actually are. It is certainly interesting. How they just have a tendency to want to run away from us. And we really don't want to be having too much to do with these guys. Not if we can help it. They're the flame for our soldiers. Come on, stay back. We know how fire is super effective against us. Even using our own flamethrowers is a very risky maneuver. Let's just 
you know, think about that for a minute. Yep, the flamethrower will kill us quicker than it kills the enemies sometimes. Um, it's a questionable decision. Yeah, we might be screwed. Okay. We've been uh, having this conversation for a while, pal. But, yeah, you're okay, good. But I really need you to try and keep your head screwed on a little bit because, well, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. A couple of medkits there, which, wow, that really is going to gonna go quite a long way, to be honest. Oh, hello. Hello. Pal, stand back. There we go. Weaken the fucker up. Light this giant testicle sack up. All right, that actually worked surprisingly well. I'm not gonna lie. Let's dump as many of these magazines as possible because we can afford to, you know, use some of this ammo. The shotgun, unfortunately, has become a bit of a valuable resource for us. We need to complete this game quick as well. Just because I think the death clock is rolling on this Xbox. Not gonna lie. Oh, God. You're finished. You know what? We're gonna save. We're just gonna drop down a new save. Yeah, sure. I think we've done reasonably okay. There's some grenades there, but we don't really use the grenade launcher. Um, the few times that I have experimented with it, I've ended up killing myself, which, well, yeah, not always a great um, outcome, to be honest with you. We are certainly armed for combat. Come on, reload. There we go. Oh, you know, it's a really bloody good thing that we saved there. You know, what with power being useless and all the rest of it. Son of a bitch. Right. All right, once more feeling. Let's be careful now. I think actually to be... Oh, hello. Just let yourself in, why don't you? Pull up a chair, make yourself comfortable. All right. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, the shotgun is definitely the most efficient way of getting rid of these sacks of shit. Very good stuff. All right. Not bad. So, another level down. Yeah, so... I want to get this game wrapped up before my uh, Xbox decides to finally die. Uh, I did try to transfer. I wonder if any more medkits have spawned anywhere. I did try and transfer my saves from this one to my other system, but because this one is modded and my other one isn't, no bueno. Okay. Now, we've got some demolitions to do. And things get a little bit spicy from here on out. Now, the game is incredibly um, stingy with its medkits here. Like, ammo isn't too bad. We're about to find, like, a decent stock of that. And it is nice to be back outside in the cold. I don't know why, but there's something about that that's just comforting in this game, to be honest. It's better than being locked in the uh, corridors. It feels a little bit more open, got a bit more breathing space. Yeah, we do. Right, let's go take this guy out. He's nothing to worry about. Right. Now, I don't know how we're carrying four of these massive satchel charges, but we're not going to worry about that too much. If we explore, um, I think there's a few little bits and pieces to find, but it's mainly head crabs. We've got a lot of head crabs that are going to be contaminating these hangars. Which is kind of interesting. It does illustrate just how bad the thing infection is. Because, yeah, those planes are going nowhere. Um, not on our watch, anyway. They're going to be absolutely contaminated to all hell. Now, this game never really explains either. 
um, how they get around the fact that, you know, we're killing the thing monsters with, you know, normal projectile weapons. Whereas, you know, in the films, you absolutely had to use fire for every piece of them. You know, if even one cell uh, remained active, then the thing was still a threat. Like, one cell could infect the entire planet. Whereas here, I suppose, you know, video game logic, it would have been probably... Where's our friend? There we go. I was going to say, where's Powell gone? Uh, it probably would have been too challenging if you had to fry and burn every individual, you know, ounce of blood that you're getting from these things. Come on, pal. There you go. Earn your keep, my friend. I have given you plenty of ammo, so you should be good for a while. Now, as you can see, we're finding tons and tons of handgun ammo and tons of machine gun ammo. Shotgun ammo is a little light, to be honest, but... You know, it's not too bad. Oh, is this a trap? This man that's died with a med kit and about a thousand grenades. Of course it's a trap. There's also a soldier over here, but he doesn't seem to be too bothered about, you know, defending his uh, little stash of ammo here. Yeah, this is also kind of curious. Like, there's just this one lone soldier here. There's so much um, thing... <laughs> <laughs> monster, alien infection everywhere and there's just like a couple of random soldiers I mean could they possibly be things no because we're killing them <laughs> without you know any incident but yeah it's a bit bit odd to say the least oh I never even knew there's a medkit there don't mind if I do how many medkits have we got now five. Oh my very nice, very good. Very happy with that. Okay, so let's keep going. And we're actually doing quite well ammo-wise too. Now if we have a little peep in here, you guessed it, head crabs. Because head crabs. Okay. So we're not doing too badly still. There is another two hangers to take out. It took me a little while to find them, but they are way off over yonder. So that central building, we'll be getting back there soon. But first, we need to demo up everything. And we really want Pal to kind of stay alive because he's kind of integral for making this next bit a little bit more um, doable. Or should I say frustration-free? Not that it's frustration-free at all, but it will help. Right, stick another demo charge there. Because this bit, this bit's really weird with its save points. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I think there's a sniper rifle over here somewhere. I know if it's not over here, it's over in the other hangar. Yep, still not many medkits at all, to be honest. But I think I've just, um, I've done a little bit better, I think. Just because we've got way more health. Anyway, one more hangar to make go boom. And it is directly in front of us. Guarded by one soldier. Is it one soldier or is there a couple in here? I can't remember. Either way, they seem to be completely oblivious to the thing. Uh, Pal took another round, but he's okay for now. Right. So, find a sniper spot to shoot C4. Yeah, you actually have to have a sniper rifle for this, I think. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, I don't know if... I mean, maybe you can shoot them with other weapons. But yeah, we actually have to shoot the C4 to activate it. And there is our sniper rifle. And you guessed it. Somehow. <laughs> somehow that is a trap of 60,000 head crabs. Don't question it. Just accept it. All right. Kind of an interesting little transition there to another point of view. I don't mind it, you know. I think this game could have worked quite well with fixed cameras. They would have had to have changed up the game design, like, you know, just a little bit. Nothing too 
too like different. Just tightened up the controls a little bit. Because the game's already got an auto-aim system built in that is not too bad. So I'm pretty sure it could have worked with fixed camera angles. Right, let's go back to that central building now. Come on, pal. Our work is not done yet. Oh, no. We've got to make sure these ducks remain lame. Ain't nobody flying out of here. Apart from hopefully ourselves. Hopefully we can get out. That would be kind of sucky if not. Alright, we can hear some heavy footsteps. We are certainly not alone in this bit. Evening! Yeah, these... Yeah, see what I mean? You just start shooting these guys and... You know, they don't want none of that. And sometimes you can cook them off quite quickly and other times they seem to take a lot of fire to kill. But then I guess it makes sense that there would be a bit RNG with the damage. Oh, okay. He actually gobbed his load all over us, but somehow he missed. And I, for one, am kind of thankful for that. Don't really want to be covered in alien spooge today. Tomorrow is indeed another day. Right, now this one, we can actually repair this. And if we look inside, there is a save room. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to go for that save room just yet. Because there should, this way, be another save room. Now, this is data room three. If Pal dies, we don't have access to it. So, we're kind of lucky that we still got him. Because this will give us another save area. Which we want to take advantage of. Because this game does really enjoy uh, making you replay large sections of game. I don't know why. I think that just was the style of the time. There's no... Oh, lovely. You know, we could probably give him a shotgun. Might not be an awful idea. Right, okay. Yeah, give me all of your shit, mate. And you, you can have a shotgun. I think you're going to be way more useful with that, to be honest. And you know what? We're going to save the game again. Um, you know what that'll do? Yeah, I still get confused over the names of these uh, areas. They're kind of uh, a little bit wishy-washy and all over the place. Right, this way. Now we do have the maintenance area, which we are going to repair. But we're not going to go through there yet. Because we are going to try and take over the other save room. Because there's a key that we need. And I believe it opens... Nope, this is the toilets. Nothing in the toilets. Not even a med kit. Yeah, so we need the key for that room. Alright. Hold on to your butts. Alright, I'm going to want you to look after me here, pal. There we go. Kind of naughty, this. If you ask me. How the hell did he survive all of that? Yeah, I don't want to tell you how many times that guy killed me. It was a few. Ow. <laughs> point. There's my point. Now, I don't believe he's the one that's doing the damage to me. What I believe is happening is because we're using the flamethrower and he's on fire, we're getting burned. Yeah, the more this game goes on, the more hatred I have for the flamethrower mechanic. 
Anyway, back in a second. Okay. Right, pow, if you could handle those guys. Pow, stand back. I really don't want to blast you. I think pow's getting cooked. Yep, so are we. That's fine. We're getting hurt. Yep. Alright, we literally just survived that. That was rough. But it matters not. All that matters is that we survived. When the troops arrived, I saw Reed getting taken away, so I locked myself in here with the new guy. He started acting strangely and then tried to attack me. In my defence, I shot him dead. I think he might have caught something from the creature. I can hear outside the door. His body hasn't stopped twitching since yesterday. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? And we are going to take advantage of the save room. Because we're not done here yet. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So now we have our new key. And it is the shiniest of keys. We're going to take our key for a walk. Um, I guess we'll just have the med kits equipped. Right. Come on, pal. Let's get up here. Actually, you know, I never checked down here. No, I was hoping there was going to be a bit of a sneaky med kit. But no, nothing. All right, let's get up here. See if we can't get a nice little vantage point. That's some fine work, pal. Fine work indeed. Now. Have we got a friend in here? Or is the friend back here? Somewhere. Okay, I think the friend is in this one. Because we're going to be timed here. Aha, there he is. There you are. Alright, now we need to deal with this guy. This guy hurts because of course he does. Let's cook your stinking mangy ass. Come on. There's quite enough of that. Now, do we want to save power with one of our valuable mem... Um... One of our valuable medikits. Ah, oh, I mean, I guess we could. Because we're a nice guy. Now here is a save room. So we're going to save again. Because this bit gets a little bit delicate. So. We actually haven't had a cutscene play yet. But it should. Now we... I want to equip the sniper rifle. Now, there should have been a cutscene play, but it didn't. I don't know why. And essentially, our friend notices that this is the best place to snipe the C4. Now, you're actually timed here because those gates that uh, house the aircraft are actually currently closing. As we can see. Managed to do it just in time. Yeah, that is actually a surprisingly tight um, time limit, to be honest. And we've managed to end it right in the right room, I should say. The one with the save room. I'm going to end this video here, guys. Because I need to go sort my throat out. Yeah. I'll leave that up to your imagination. And uh, when we come out... <clears throat> uh, when we come back, I should say, we're going to hopefully escape down the door. And I shall be armed with a fresh cup of coffee. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.